Today is Veterans Day and the city of Indianapolis celebrated in a number of ways. I'm Jessica Grundling and I stopped by the parade, the war memorial and a free meal for vets to find out what this day represents for them. Please touch this food. Inside Volunteers of America, a special lunch for the veterans they serve. Our veterans here love to eat and we love to feed them. So we've all pitched in. The organization works with homeless vets. With 24 beds, they help them find housing, jobs, and work on mental health. Brandon Williams is a Navy veteran and currently working through the program. Leaving the military is it's kind of weird because you, you spend years of them telling you what to do, when to do it, how to do it. When you come out, you, ha you have to transition into doing all that for yourself, you know, um, and it's, it's sometimes it's, you know, it's difficult. Um, some of our veterans seem to be forgotten. Um, in Indianapolis, our veteran community uh, partners, we team up and do an excellent job. And so Veterans Day is very important so that we recognize the hard work and the sacrifice. Just a block away, the Veterans Day Parade. My um, niece and nephew and my two youngest. Hannah Nielsen brought them out to Pennsylvania Avenue. While most kids are in school today, hers are in a hybrid homeschool program. This is a field trip for them. I think it would be great for all the kids to experience this. If all the schools were closed, so they can come. I'm not sure a lot of kids in the city have even seen a full army band orchestra out here, which is pretty amazing. We like to use it as an educational Opp you know, opportunity. Brigadier General Stuart Goodwin spent 37 years in the Air Force. He's now the executive director of the Indiana War Memorials and helps organize Veterans Day events. We refer to it at the War Memorial as the 90-10 rule. We think it's time for the 90% to learn about what the 10% did so that we can all live free. A sentiment echoed by veterans like Williams. Those freedoms, you know, they come at a cost and it's not free. In Indianapolis, Jessica Grundling, WRTV.